This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Looking for a place to walk, hike, bike, or even ride your horse? Well, conservation area trails provide recreational and educational opportunities as well as access to your conservation lands. To learn more about these opportunities, we have Darlene Bryant with the Missouri Department of Conservation here this morning. Hello, how are you doing today? I'm good, Ella. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for coming on. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about these different locations. Where are they in the heartland? Well, we have four different uh, conservation areas that have trails on them. Uh, those are the ones indicated in red that you can see on the screen there. Um, located in Clark, uh, Lewis, um, Knox, and in Adair counties. And those uh, have designated trails that are open to hiking, biking, and horseback riding during certain times of the year. And the other three conservation areas that I have indicated there are blue, indicated in blue, mm -hmm. are the ones that... Uh, would require a special use permit to horseback ride on, but they're all, all are open for, for hiking year round. Obviously a person would want to uh, take heed to whatever uh, hunting seasons are, are open for your own safety sake when you're hiking out there on those conservation areas. All right, and you just mentioned uh, that some of these areas that are highlighted in blue do require some sort of permit. Now let's talk about that. What type of permit is required to go on those trails with a horse? Oh, okay, well for, first let's talk about the, the red ones. It, those are open year round mm -hmm. except for um, uh, the, uh, well, actually September 15th through January 15th. That's mm -hmm. during our archery season. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we, they're closed during the spring turkey seasons. That's all day through all the spring turkey season, seasons, including youth. Mm -hmm. So those are times that, that we do, do not allow horseback riding uh, on any of the conservation areas. Uh, the, the blue areas would be by special use permit only. You have mm -hmm. to contact the area manager. The red areas you can ride in groups up to 10 uh, anytime except fi the firearms deer season and the uh, spring turkey season. All right. Now let's talk about uh, safety precautions. What do we need to keep in mind? Are, do we have to have a helmet when we go horseback riding? Do we have to have the straddle or anything like that? Can we go bareback? Talk about that. Well, uh, you know, obviously that's your personal preference. Okay. You know, it's a great idea to use personal protective equipment. If you're not comfortable riding with a helmet, then that you probably don't want to ride with a helmet. But those are things we expect, you know, you would you would want to take your own precautions, what you're comfortable with there okay. for horseback riding. All right, now let's talk about these trails. They are actually multi-use trails, so mm -hmm. they're not just for horseback riding, so we want to keep that in mind. So talk about yes. that. Yes, uh, you know, we hope that everyone would be respectful for another person who's wanting to use that trail. And, you know, I'd like to remind folks that the trails are primitive. They, they're not surface, so, you know, if you're walking, expect a little bit rougher terrain. You know, mm -hmm. typically a bicycle would be a mountain-style bike. And one thing I'd like to tell folks, if you're taking a trailer into some of our conservation areas, you might want to go there with your vehicle without a trailer on it first, just to make sure that you can get down the road and get turned around. I know uh, one of the conservation areas has a low water crossing that some of the tra trailers drag. So you might want to check it out with a two wheel, you know, without your trailer hooked on mm -hmm. before you go there. So that's a great idea. All right. And if anybody has any questions or concerns or wants to learn more about these locations, who should they contact? Well, I, I would contact the Kershaw Regional Office. That's our phone number there. And mm -hmm. ask for the area manager for the particular conservation area that they're interested in. Mm -hmm. And our, our Atlas database is a great resource to find out areas that have trails on mm -hmm. them. And, and if horseback riding or bicycling is, uh, is allowed, mm -hmm. uh, just, you know, uh, you can Google Missouri Department of Conservation, get on our website look at our Atlas database and it, it kind of gives you a, an avenue to find out what activities are available on that mm -hmm. conservation area. All right, and what I'll do is I'll post everything on our website because I, I looked at the website this morning and it's really awesome because when you do type in horseback riding opportunities, a page pops up and you can actually search by county to see if there mm -hmm. are trails nearby and when they're open. So that's a really good feature. So I'll link that up. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, that's it, Ella. Okay. Just, we'd just like people to come out and enjoy our conservation areas. All right, perfect. Well, thank you for your time. Thank Again, you. we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com and we'll link up the Missouri Department of Conservation's information as well and we'll be right back.